Good morning, everyone. You're the one I trust. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another Finance Friday. It's officially Friday and today we are gonna be budgeting um, the check today and I also have a cash stuffing and some money for a wedding um, gift. I didn't really know what to buy so I'm just gonna give some money um, today for a close uh, a family member's wedding that's happening this Saturday actually. Um, so actually tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, you guys. So hello and good morning. Happy Friday. We have a little Starbucks coffee. My order today is a Trenta iced coffee. I I got a lot of sugar, so definitely lower this down for all of you. But I got um, pumpkin and classic syrup with half and half creamer and light whip. I love my coffees sweet. Now, if they're from a different company, not so much because they're not that strong, but Starbucks coffees are really, really strong, and I never had a problem before, but um, I do now because I'm not, I don't really drink as much coffee anymore. I only get it like once or twice a week instead of every single day, so um, I've really cut back on my coffee intake. So um, here is personal spending and savings paper. I'm going to zoom you guys way out. That way you can see a lot more. Um, now this is personal. We're going to come back to that. We're going to jump, you know, I couldn't find a paper puncher, a paper hole puncher. When I was cleaning my room after I put all these in and guess what I found? A hole puncher. <laughs> so, um, as far as next month goes for November, we'll have plenty of, um, we'll have a hole puncher to hole punch. So I'm going to use this pen here. I haven't used one in a while. I like these pens. These are the Unibel Sign Hour Sign Q. I forget. Um, and that's how I'm going to fill this in this week. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I am going to pull up my phone. Give me one second for my phone. I'm filming with my regular phone. So let me grab my my spare phone. Okay, give me a second here. I'm going to pull up this week's settlement sheet. Slash pay stub. Okay, so as far as miles go, we had 1,036. With empty 143. We had 512 and 49. We had 469 and 54. We had 127 and 112. And we had 587 and 8 empty. Um, as far as totals, that top totaled 1,179. Then this totaled 561. This totaled 523 miles. And these two totaled 239 miles. And these two 595 miles. With a total mile mileage of 3,097 miles this week. That left to check at 1920 before taxes. After taxes, that paycheck amount was $1,621. Oops. I'm just going to come in here with a little Sharpie just to... that and it probably bled through the page. Whew, we're lucky. It almost bled through. $1,621 pay this week. Okay. So our first section for our paycheck is going to be tithes and givings. Now we always give 10% of the check to church. 
So this week we're going to be giving $162 to church. So I'm going to write in here, church. One hundred sixty-two. This pen kind of sucks. It hasn't. I haven't used it for a while, so I'm gonna shake the ink down. Maybe it'll work. Um, and then this is gonna get paid today, ten thirteen. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab another pen here, um, cause that one's not really that good. I'm just gonna use, I guess, this one right here. It'll work. Um, then we have expenses. Now, expenses are things that I label as bills, things like allowances, things like gas, things like, you know, actual, like, they're like bills, but they're like, not really bills. Um, bills are like things like your mortgage, your water bill, your electric bill, your rent, if you have rent, your truck payment, your car payment, you know, those are the bills. The expenses I'm counting is like gas, allowances, nothing really ever goes in here except um, allowance money for every person to buy their own gas and to buy their, pay for their travel and their own, um, food if they want to eat out, buy themselves some new clothes, um, whatever. It's like you give your kid an allowance. That's how we actually budget our weekly paychecks. We give each person in our household except one person because they make their own income. Um, and, uh, we give everyone an allowance and their allowance amount is, you know, what they get to spend. I always usually get a little bit more sometimes than everybody else because I'm out buying groceries for the entire household and things like that. Um, I manage all of this and blah, blah, blah. So that is why. I just wanted to go over that though. So the expenses this week are going to be, I love this pen, allow for Charles, allowance for Charles, and that's going to be $200. And then we're going to have Haley's allowance, which is going to be $50. Again, Charles is sitting at $200 because he's out in the road um, making these paychecks. I am finance. Um, I am managing his finances for him. Um, he is my grandfather, and he needs someone to manage his finances, and he put me on the job. He said, if you want to do it, you can do it. Uh, he said, uh, it would be a big help for me. He said, because you can do things like a quick of a snap. And I'm like, well, you're not wrong. <laughs> so that's my sister's allowance right there. Um, she doesn't really get much because I take care of all of her um, normal necessities and things like that. And that's just like, like a little like part for her to save and spend. And it gives her a great opportunity to learn how to save money. And she's been doing a phenomenal job. And then allow L is for Linda. That's his wife. Now she gets her entire social security paycheck at uh, every single month. Um, so she ends up getting $50 weekly as well. Um, she used to get a lot more than that, but I'm not really going to get into it too much, but she has a major gambling problem, so we don't really give her that much money because she just throws it away. Um, so I'm not really going to get into that too much, but someone did ask, like, well, how come Linda's amount dropped from being 200 a week, then to 150 then to, like, less and less and less? Now she's at $50. Well, that's because, number one, she gets an entire $800 check every single month, um, and she has a major, like I said, a gambling problem, and she doesn't want to accept help. So that's where we're, where we're stuck at. Um, there's no point in throwing money away, plus we don't really have it anyway. Um, and then, of course, we're going to have my allow allowance here this week. Now, I bought a lot of stuff for the house last week. I bought paint. It was $150 for paint and rollers and a big stick to paint the house outside. Um and I purchased some other things, um, and my grandfather's paying me back this week, which is how we have um, another cash stuffing, and I'm getting back ahead. Um, so this week he has been he has given me four hundred and fifty dollars. Now a portion of that's for groceries, a portion is for household cleaning items, and the rest is mine. Now usually I'll get the same two hundred, um, and mine also goes towards like cascade detergent things like that. Um, so I end up being with about a hundred left maybe. 
But this week I'm getting 450. That is what we agreed to budget on is 450 for me. And that's it for expenses and allowances. Sorry about the flickering. My uh, computer, whoa, you almost guys, I must tip you over. My computer keeps, there we go. I'll just turn it, I'll just put in my pin, unlock it. Um, now, as far as bills go, we are going to be doing AT&T. which is $125. And then we're gonna be doing Xfinity, mobile, for $378. My writing's kinda getting messy. I'm trying to think, is there anything else we're doing? Oh yes, we're doing uh, water bill. The original bill was two sixty six every um, two months, and we paid off uh, two fifty dollars on it. So we paid a hundred dollars on it, and we're left with a balance of about one hundred and sixty or something like that. So I'm gonna make that payment here and finish that water bill off. Um, get that all done here. Get that water bill taken care of and wiped out. Um, and let me go over here on my computer into my little notes because I did have exactly what else I'm doing. I can't remember. It is currently 6.07 in the morning. So on this wonderful Friday. So I am kind of losing my mind this morning. Let me see. Here we go. Okay. That seems like it's about it. Yeah, we got the 250s, we got the two other allowances, we got 125 for AT&T, 378 to Xfinity Mobile, we have 160 to the water bill, and that's it. Oh, okay, here we go. So I'm going to go down to ties and givings at the bottom here. I'm going to put in Wedding Abbey. We're going to be giving Abby a little $40 in her wedding card for a wedding gift for her and her husband, Abby and her husband, Jesse. And that also came out today. I have that in cash right here. Okay. So now it, it, I do have a section here, a look at next week. Um, as far as next week's go, um, I'm just going to put in here. Oh, wait. I already know next week's, what, what next week's check's going to be. There is, let's go figure out how many miles there is for next week. Because I already know this, since it is Friday, I pretty much know what's going to happen. So, um, we left off on, okay, we started this week at King of Prussia. So, 601 plus 78 miles. And then we had 199 plus 33. I really wish we could have got better ahead for next week, um, but they didn't really have that good of a run for him, and they only gave him like a 300-mile trip, and that one much at all. So for his last trip of this week, which delivers today, 2106. Wait, hold on. Did I calculate wrong? King of Prussia is 601 plus 78. Then we have New Jersey to, to Pennsylvania, 199 plus 33. And then we have PA to Michigan, 473 plus 93. Okay, I messed up. I put in Michigan twice. That's what I thought I did. And then well, it was a 2106. Then today's last trip is 274 plus 43. That's it. 2423. Now, compared to his uh, dedicated runs, he used to be on dedicated. Oh, my arm really hurts. Uh, there, he used to be on dedicated, but they took him off of that and put him on over the road. So that's pretty close to his regular two thousand five hundred sixty-seven dollars a week, uh, or not, not money. Two thousand five hundred sixty-seven miles. So 
I'm going to put in here 2,423 miles at 62 cents a mile. Okay, so now we're going to jump over to my money. Now, these are my, actually, we got to go back. These are my budget sheets right here. Um, I have my budget binder amount, coin jar bills, cash app card, bank account, cash and wallet, total, notes, next four upcoming weeks, and then a quick little Bible verse, Deuteronomy 8, verse 18. So, let me check out where I put that money. There it is. I did get some out of the bank now. This uh, $40 of it actually goes to Abby and her husband for a wedding gift. It'd be nice to give more. We don't really have much more to really give. Um, we can't throw ourselves in the gutter. Um, so, But with the card amounts, we did give quite a bit because the cards, I think I spent like 30 some dollars for two cards. So I wanted to buy two cards. So, Okay. So my current budget binder amount, this is where it's going to come in where I'm going to also add in my new cash stuffing. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out my current amount of money in here. There is my current amount. Pull out my budget sheet as well. This is my new budget binder. Last week I told you guys it was coming, but I never could show you because it came late in the day. But it is a white cream colored crocodile. Fake crocodile, of course, but it's beautiful. It was only like $10 on Amazon. So go pick one up. Um, okay. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to count this with my new inquiry. Now we're adding today 250, by the way. This is a nice fat stack. Let's go ahead and start counting. I'll put the 50 to the side till we're finished. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 50, 700. So there is what we're putting in the in the budget finder today is seven hundred dollars cash. Well, actually, we're adding two hundred and fifty. That brings us to seven hundred dollars. You may be asking, why do you want this much in cash? I love it out of the bank because if it's in my bank account, I'm spending it, um, and I hate spending money. So we've been all over the place here getting this built back up, and then we dropped way down from my tires. We're back up again. So that is fantastic. So let's go ahead and write in here. Ooh, I ran out of room. Oh no. Okay. Um, I have just enough room to put in here this week and then I can off the flip it over the back. This week is 10, 13, 13. And we added 250. Cause I took two, I took another 50 out. I never actually wrote in here though. And now that puts us at $700. Okay. So $700, you guys, what we got with what we're working with here. Um, I love having this. And I'm going to, my goal, if you guys want to keep up with my notion, I have a goal in my notion that I want to have um, $1,000 saved by the end of this month in personal. And this is what I got. My personal savings account, it is built up. And with me only getting $200 a week, then having to buy Cascade and, and normal household items, I have been able to stay really good at my budget and be able to save this much money. And I am just so proud of myself for being able to get this far. Um, I didn't think I'd make it. $700 in my hand in cash. That is incredible. Um, but all praise and all glory to the Father, all praise and all glory to Jesus and God. Thank you so much, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So my budget binder now has $700 in it. My coin jar bills, we're actually going to be adding some to this um, as well today because I have some in my wallet money that I actually found. But I have this massive coin jar and in here I've just been throwing dollar bills in. I'm going to pull those out. I don't know how much change is in there. I think I counted it before and I had like 
30 or $40 and change. No, I didn't. Did I? I might have. I don't know. Anyway, these are 32 ones. Okay, I know I haven't touched them. So let's go ahead and add some extra ones that I have in my wallet. This is my little uh, mini, but my little mini binder here. And in here under my little shopping folder, I actually have um, some money. I never even knew that it was even in there until I looked the one day, but um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars. Are these all in the same order? Yep. So I'm gonna put these in here with this amount. I'm gonna kind of put them in the middle this time, or in like the middle of the stack, that way it holds them together, holds them flat. Let's go ahead and count just to see what we got. I, I can figure it out, but I'm just wanna, I just wanna count them. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 20. One, two, three, four. Four, four. Five, six, seven. I hate money all different ways. Eight, nine, ten. That is thirty dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Fifty. What? Now, we're at $40, right? All that money being the wrong way really confused me. This should be at 40, because we had 32 in here, but I'm gonna count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. That's what I thought. Forty dollars in here. So we have forty-one dollar bills. It is so thick. Okay, so I'm gonna fill in this here. We got some more saved up in here for our rainy day. I haven't touched this since August. Um, a lot of these are back from a while ago. Yeah, because those were actually 20s and stuff that I put in here back then, so. <sighs> anyway. Kind of sloppy writing, but I don't care. <laughs> um, this is something that I don't really keep too organized because I know what's in here and it, it like barely ever changes, so. But there that is, $40, and we're off to our next category. Cash App card has $9. There is five of my little like, savings on Cash App from Roundups, but anyway, bank account. I'm going to be adding more to my Cash App card, though, later, but I'm not going to put it on this page. Let's check in my bank account. I pretty much wiped that thing out. Um, not really wiped it out, but compared to what I have in cash saved, the bank's probably like, what? Anyway. Loading, loading, loading. Give it a minute, you guys. I am sitting with 191 in the bank. No cash in my wallet, which leaves my total. Let's figure this out here. 700 plus 40 plus nine dollars plus 191 dollars i am sitting with a total of is that right i thought i have more than that 700 minus plus 40. now i gotta lay out money from here over to 191. guess it is all that i have i thought i had more than that 
Uh, I was counting my 50 that was left over in there. Okay, that's why. Anyway, so I have to pay my sister some money out of here. Um, $50. So, I'll be left with like 141 in there. And that's the only thing I gotta pay. And then the rest can just sit there. Um, I'll probably pull 100 over to my Cash App card. Because I like to have that on my Cash App card in case I go on like a big like shopping trip for cash. Okay, then I'll use that and then I'll take my cash and put it back or whatever. But I don't even like to use my cash. Like my cash is like my savings, okay? Don't even touch. Um, so notes. One more week to go for a thousand dollars. Amen. Um, next upcoming weeks should be two hundred, two hundred, two hundred, two hundred. Um, I'm not sure that it might change and make it lower, but if we're looking at that, with no spend. We should be sitting with 940 plus, I did get my sister 50, so we're gonna be sitting with 890. And then we get 200, 200, 200, 200. But that's not the end of October. That's actually gonna be going into the second week of November. will be $1,690. So my goal is now to leave my cash, my little cash um, stuffing alone. This is fully stuffed, fully funded. Um, and my goal now is to work on my bank account. So that's it for my personal spending and savings. And that's it for the weekly budget. That's it for today's video as well. I'll see you guys back here next week on 1020 to do our weekly stuffing again. I am going to go out here and put this $40 in the card. And that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. And have a fantastic Friday. Bye, guys.